Good morning students. We are discussing on pavement design and highway construction. We have seen the need of pavement maintenance. We have also discussed on system approach for the pavement maintenance. But for that we have to do a physical survey and the conditional survey. So whenever you are performing the physical survey, how you will identify the defects on that particular pavement stretch okay so for that we need to understand that what are the symptoms what are the causes of the defects and how we can treat that defects to make that particular pavement in its better condition so our today's topic is regarding that particular discussion that symptoms causes and the treatments of defects in particular flexible pavement so let's start the lecture with defects in bituminous pavement that is the flexible pavement so basically this bituminous pavement defects are classified into four different categories so first category that is the surface defects that surface defects includes the fatty surface the smooth surface streaking and the fourth one that is the hungry surface so these are the sub types of defects so such type of defects comes into the surface defects that generally examine on particular surface the second one that is the cracks okay so cracks are uh, furthermore classified into the hairline cracks that alligator cracks, longitudinal cracks, edge cracks, shrinkage cracks, and the reflection crack. After that, the third classification of pavement defects, that is the deformation of pavement. So that includes slippage, rutting, corrugation, showing, shallow depression, settlement and upheavals the fourth defect that is the disintegration that includes stripping and loss of aggregates this is how we have classified the different different defect category into this main four category that is surface defects cracks deformation and fourth one that is the disintegration you must have to remember this all defects in the flexible pavement so let's uh, discuss in detail for the surface defects okay in the surface defects the first category that was the fatty surface how we can identify the fatty surface for that we have to discuss on the symptoms then the cause of that particular defects and then after we will go for the treatment. So starting with the symptoms, the fatty surface that result when the bituminous binder that moves upward in the surfacing and collects as a film on the surface. Here in the figure, you can see this is the particular surface that has moved in upward direction and it look like a particular different surface from the existing pavement okay so this is the symptoms that this particular pavement reflecting the fatty surface yes okay so what are the causes why this happens in this uh, in particular pavement so for that there are causes the causes for this particular fatty surfaces are first that is excessive binder okay excessive binder in a premix surfacing overfilling the voids as we have discussed earlier that whenever you are applying the upper surface okay in that we have added the filler material as a fine aggregates okay and to bind that fine aggregates to the coarse aggregate we are applying the binder material 
okay so if you are applying that binder material in the excessive manner okay at such cases this type of defects can be occurred the next is loss of cover aggregates in surface tracing third that non-uniform spreading there may be the possibility of non-uniform spreading of cover aggregates that are the fine aggregates that we generally use for filling up the voids in between the coarse aggregates okay in the surface tracing this is all about the upper layer of the pavement that was the surface layer okay the next cause that be excessive application of binder in the surface tracing the next is poor quality of aggregates that leading to the fracture of that particular pavement or if we can say the breakdown or eventually loss so as you have applied uh, aggregates on the upper surface due to poor quality of that aggregate whenever the heavy load that heavy vehicle pass on that particular aggregate that will broke down the aggregate and the bituminous content that was on that particular aggregate surface that will reflect outward on the pavement and such kind of defects can be occurred the next is excessively heavy axle load that causing compression of surfacing and forcing the bitumen it's simple like heavy vehicle is passing on that particular stretch if you have applied some liquid material on it so whenever the heavy vehicle put extra put heavy load on that particular surface that uh, liquid material will try to come out on that particular surface and such kind of defects can be occurred okay so these are the causes and these are the symptoms for such kind of fatty surface here you can see in the figure now we will talk on the treatment how we can treat this fatty surface so for that the treatment the first step if the bleeding is fairly uniform and the surface is free from all the irregularities we can apply the cover of aggregates and shand on that particular surface now whenever you are applying that aggregate or the sand that should be in the small size as well as it should be clean and aggregates that we are using that should be angular aggregates okay so whenever you are applying them on such surface at that moment it may be heated if you found it necessary okay the second is an open graded premix surfacing with the low vitamin content can also absorb the excessive binder so if you are applying such kind of op uh, open graded premix on that particular surface it may absorb that excessive binder and it settle down on that particular surface homogeneously a liquid seal coat with a special care that taken to select the rate of application of the binder and the quality and the size cover aggregates can also be the effective in such kind of defects also some special methods like burning the excessive water that also be helpful in to uh, recover or to treat such kind of surfaces okay after fatty surface the next surface defect that is the smooth surface okay what are the symptoms and how we can treat it let's see as you can see in the figure this particular surface is seems very smooth over the pavement sometimes what happens such smooth surface may cause the accident okay and so we need to give some skid resistant property to such kind of pavement surfaces so let's see the symptom a smooth surface has very low skid resistance value first and it become very slippery when it get wet so such a condition invites hazards and especially on the gradients or the band or the intersections so the main symptoms of such kind of 
pavement or such kind of defects that is it has a very low skid resistance when you have uh, at whatever place on the pavement surface you uh, feel like it's slippery so that particular stretch must may have the low skid resistant property and such uh, surface is known as the smooth surface the cause of this defect is a primary cause for a smooth surface is polishing of aggregates under the traffic and also the excessive binder that can result on the smooth surface okay if we talking about the treatment the rectification consists of resurfacing with a surface tracing course or a premix carpet here the care should be taken to select the hard and the angular aggregates which have we which have proven non polishing characteristics and such kind of aggregates will give the skin resistant property to your pavement surface and the copper can be a open graded mix so it will also absorb the excessive binder content if there exist okay and a slurry seal can be also used to impart the anti skidding texture on the surface so this is how we can treat the smooth surface to provide or to give the skid resistant property to the surface the next defect that is the streaking for the streaking the symptoms is streaking is characterized by the appearance of alternate lean and hairy lines of bitumens either in the longitudinal direction or in the transverse direction here uh, you can see that in the longitudinal direction you might have observed here a lean or heavy lines that is different from the existing pavement structure here the existing pavement have such type of grayish uh, color where here you can see the different or the alternate lean or heavy lines come out on that particular surface for causing the longitudinal streaking that results when alternate longitudinal strips of surface that contain different quantity of bitumen due to non uniform application of the bitumen across the surface some of the more common causes of this type of streaking are mechanical faults improper or the poor adjustment and careless operations of bitumen distributors these streakers can also be formed as a result of applying the bituminous binder at too low temperature and a temperature at which the bitumen is not get fluid enough to fan out properly from the nozzle on the spray bars okay so all this causes can also result in transverse streaking transverse streaking may also be caused by spots in the bitumen spray from the distribution spray bar and this could be a result of mechanical faults in the distributor the transverse streaking may result in corrugation in the pavement surfaces so generally if we see the transverse streaking may be in this direction okay and this may also cause because of using non uniform grade of bitumen also sometimes it possible that whenever you are spraying that bitumen that not sprayed homogeneously that also cause such kind of defects so how we can treat these defects let's discuss for the treatment the satisfactory repair for the longitudinal and transverse streaking is to remove the streaked surface and 
apply a new surface treatment. So it is always desirable to prevent the longitudinal and transverse streaking than to correct it. So whenever the mechanical equipment is used for spraying of bitumen, the manufacturer's recommendation of the bitumen distributor should be carefully added to. The next surface that is the hungry surface. So let's discuss on the, its symptoms, cause and treatment. So the symptoms is the hungry surface is characterized by the loss of aggregates from the surface or it appears of fine cracks as you can see in this figure here we have many fine cracks on the surface and here also we can see that there is a loss of aggregates in the pavement surface yes so let's see uh, what are the causes of such defects one of the reason of hungry surface is the use of less bitumen in the surface. Sometimes this condition may also appear due to the use of absorptive aggregates in the surface. So how we can treat it? For that a slurry seal may be used as a repair measure and it is applied in an average thickness of 2 to 5 millimeter as an emergency repair a fog seal may be used to treat these defects okay so here we are summing up with the surface defects okay and also we are concluding this lecture with that i hope students you all get the detailed knowledge regarding the surface defects okay and its different subcategories and symptoms causes and treatments thank you for your kind attention we'll see you in the next lecture